everyone and welcome to episode 11 of FM21 Beta Battle with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So things continue to go okay. We did have a win and a loss since the last game that you and I were together for last episode. So that's not too bad considering we are in the most dreadfully difficult run-in that you could ever possibly imagine. And today doesn't get any easier. We are currently going to play Arsenal who sit a, uh, a position above us in the league. They are in fourth. So another tricky game. Let's see how we get on. Welcome back to Ellen Road. So yeah, we continue on this really tricky run of fixtures leading to the end of the season. We're at 32 games played, so we've only got half a dozen games left and they're all really tricky, other than maybe the game against Newcastle, which is coming up soon that hopefully we'll get some points in. But the form has been continuing to be a bit mixed, but considering who we've been playing, not too bad. So let's go and check all of that out. So two games to tell you about. The first is against Man City at home. A little bit disappointing that we couldn't get on the score sheet and put them under pressure. But to be honest, we were never quite at the races. They they did pretty well. They played very nicely. We struggled a little bit and we came away with a 2-0 loss. But, you know, they're a top four side. We kind of expect it a little bit. But then we immediately got back on track. And it's these games that we have to make the most of. This Sheffield United performance. We got three great goals from Dallas, Backer and Lorente, And we play them again shortly as well um, before the end of the season. Along with that Newcastle game. And those are the, the games that we need to get our points from really as much as we can. Just to keep the pressure on at the top of the table. So not too bad had a run this really we lost against Man City today we get Arsenal if we go and have a look in the competition page in the Premier League you'll see that they're sitting directly above us in fourth place they've only played 30 games though so they have got that advantage over us so if we were to get the three points today maybe it's still possible that we could put pressure on them for fourth but if we don't if we lose today I think we're definitely not going to finish in the top four and it becomes a, a straight shootout between us and a couple of other clubs to stay in this top six kind of position that we currently find ourselves in which trust me before the season if you'd have said I'd have finished top six I would have absolutely bitten your hand off for it so we've got to maintain some form and get some points somewhere so can we do it today So we continue to have, to, uh, to have a couple of injury issues um, and mostly there to our Metzala, basically. Rodrigo and Wilshere just still not quite right for Rodrigo to come back into the side. And until that fitness issue goes away for Wilshere, you can't risk him because he's so fragile. He'll just break down again. So that's the only major change in the side as we currently speak. Um, there's for sure that's on the bench with a little bit of an issue with his fitness, but he'll cope, I'm sure. So today against Arsenal really important to see if we can get some more points on the board if possible but we have Meslier in goal we have Ailing at right back Dallas at left back Lorente and Cock in central defence Click, Phillips and Shackleton in central midfield with Costa on the right Hernandez on the left and Backer up top with a bench of Cooper Jan Matt Davis Forshaw Rafina, Harrison and Roberts so let's get into today's game and see what happens So no gesture in terms of what I wanted to uh, physically put out in the team talk. But the team talk is quite an interesting one because we discover that Arsenal currently sit in ninth place in the form guide whilst we're in fifth. So I've asked the side to let us let's show everybody why that is. So I've realigned the zoom function on the replays, which is always a problem. It always goes too short, um, too small, but you can't change it uh, um, and keep it the way it is at the moment so anyway that's all done so we're now into the game proper we've got a first highlight after six minutes and it's us on the ball which is great backer dropping slightly deep to pick up the ball and get involved in the play and then a slightly loose ball we went too early too long i suspect didn't quite work but we managed to win it back which is great defensively no problems with defensively at all we've been very good most of this season the occasional game where it doesn't work out for us and we play a big boy, of course, absolutely. But most of the time we've been very good. And Messlier in goal, our goalkeeper, has been an absolute superstar. Right until that point. 
That is uncanny that I was just talking about how good he was. He manages to get the ball off of that lofted uh, chuck over the top that went astray. <laughs> and then boots it at the head of Lorente and we go one down. I swear sometimes this game, if it thinks you're doing too well, it just chucks a problem your way to see how you cope with it. And today, that's our problem. <laughs> We gave away the most stupid of goals. Oh, dear. He's been an absolute superstar, Messlier, and he's going to let us down, isn't he, today? But there we are. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. And it's Arsenal on the attack again, down this right-hand side. That looked a little bit offside to me, but they managed to skip past a, a challenge and get a decent effort in. And again, it's knocked down in the box and Aubameyang finds a way to latch onto it. And this Arsenal in ninth in the form guide and us in fifth has come to absolutely nothing, has it, really? And we let in such a poor opening goal that we were always going to be on the back foot because of it. And now we're 2-0 down after 25 minutes. When it's not your day, it's not your day, is it? We've not even registered a shot at goal. And again, it's Arsenal down this right-hand side, always where the problem's coming from, it seems. But we have a chance to counter-attack. Loose ball there, and Costa gets it and runs pretty much the length of the pitch all the way into the box. And then can't quite get it past goalkeeper. And then defender picks up the loose ball, gets it in, though. And then Arsenal get it cleared, but Ailing will pick up that ball and get his moving forward again. But what a great chance it was from Costa on two occasions and he couldn't quite put it away and we still maintain possession though which is really positive to see um, decent short sharp passes and then we went over the top again and it went into the defensive area for Arsenal and they pick up the loose ball and we couldn't quite make it pay but at least we're putting a little bit of pressure on at the end of this first half um, having said that it's um, Arsenal who managed to clear their lines from our corner kick and maintain possession and there's that big space down that uh, right hand side for them and they've managed to get it on to Bellerin who gets a chance to put a decent cross in does he take it he does to the back post and it was just a little bit too far wide of the back post wasn't it from where he crossed it from and Aubameyang couldn't quite get the angle to get it back again corner comes in this time though and it's again it's cleared are we going to win the ball we are backer picks it up hold on to the ball get it back into that yeah good play nicely done and then it wasn't oh Hernandez I think it was who picked up the ball from Becker and then put a drifted uh, through ball on for Shackleton but it wasn't good enough and we're lucky to win the ball back again and then we give it away again we've gone to short passing really short slowed down passing and it's not really showing it is it they're going long quite a lot too too readily for my liking and then we keep again the ball away like that don't like this game now don't, I've had enough of it today oh that is so annoying we've been so good oh, we're in such good form really I mean we've lost against City but we beat Sheffield United against these big guys though these big clubs if they show up in any way and somebody like Aubameyang or Lacazette decides they want to play today you're in a lot of trouble, aren't you? And we get through to half time, three nil down. And I think we were slightly unlucky, really. I think two of those goals were our own creation. Humph. They've only got an XG of 0 0.85 and they've scored three goals from it. Now, granted, we've had one shot and one shot on target, which 0 0.10 for our XG. But, oh, Fiddle sticks is the best I can do because I don't want to swear on my family friendly channel. But really, really unhappy. Throw the water bottle, far from pleased. Straight back out there into the shouts. Demand more. See if we can get any sense of fight from them in this second half and what we just need to do is keep the ball a little bit and keep doing this the short passes get Arsenal running after the ball and then find a way to open up the space for ourselves Phillips on the ball centrally got options and he took it down the wide right for Ailing. good chance for Crossy gets it into Costa and how does that not get past Leno 
Oh, that's like the third attempt now for Costa that hasn't been able to beat the keeper or a defender in front of him. Disappointing. Cross comes in from the corner kick and they get it partially cleared, but we pick up the loose ball and drop it back into defence again. I think I'm going to have to take him off in a second, Costa. He's had so many chances, but he hasn't made them pay, which is really disappointing. 62 minutes in, I am going to make a couple of changes, I think. And it's going to be the attacking wide guys that come off, really. 6.2 for Hernandez. We've got 6.2 for Dallas as well, which is really bad. So we're going to take Hernandez off and put Harrison on. We are going to take Costa off. He's had too many chances and not made the most of them. And we're going to leave one substitution for a little bit later should we need it for any reason. A good chance for a free kick from Phillips. Can he make the goalkeeper work on this particular occasion? And it, he doesn't make the goal. Well, he made the goalkeeper try. And the goalkeeper fluffed his lines completely. And at least we get one goal back. So again into the um, the shouts. And we're going to say fire up. We're going to get them to really focus. And then we're going to go into an attacking mentality as well. For the last few minutes of the game. And just see if we can put Arsenal under a little bit of pressure. So we're in the attacking um, style of play mentality now. We look with the ball though for Arsenal, gets a shot away and it goes narrowly wide of that post. I think the goalkeeper had it covered mostly, um, but you never quite tell. 72 minutes gone, let's make our final substitution of the match. And I think we're going to have to take, do I want to take Dallas off? Not really. I don't think bringing Davis on is going to impact the game enough. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take Shackleton off. And we're going to put Roberts on and then we're going to go into our 4-2-4 four formation and play that way for the remaining uh, section of the game. That's what we're going to do and just hope that maybe we can get a couple of longer balls into the box for a couple of strikers to finally get a couple of attempts. We've had a few in the last sort of half uh, of this half, as it were, five and five now for us. We just need to get them on target and get them past that goalkeeper. Again, though, it's Arsenal with a chance down this right-hand side for them, but we have set our defensive shape quite well. Let's see if we can hold it. We do. Um, we get a, a really good foot in there, and Rafina comes away with the ball, gets a load of space, and puts it into Robert strike at goal, and we've brought it back to 3-2 with about eight minutes to go, plus some added time. Can we pull off an upset and get, come back from a 3 0 down deficit uh, to getting a draw would be amazing to win a point after this still a lot of work to do and we're not going to change it now we, we are in our 4-4-2 we're going to go into the attacking mentality for the last five minutes of the game and a chance from a corner kick they get it partially cleared can we pick up the loose ball we do cock with the ball and he get a chance to set all the play down for us into Phillips in the central midfield area on to click keeping the ball nicely where's the through ball there it is and it's Roberts and he drags it it wide he dragged it wide that was the chance that we were looking for it opened up for him so brilliantly fantastic through ball and he just poked it wide and that's gonna do it we gave it as good a, a shout as we could in that second half we were fantastic compared to the first half but it just wasn't quite enough was it and in the end we have to settle for a 3-2 loss which is just really really unfortunate considering we gave two of those goals away really especially that first one from a real mistake from the goalkeeper whacking it against the head of our central defender sorry if you can hear a noise in the background I don't know if you can but next door have decided to start drilling all of a sudden so sorry about that if you can hear that but anyway 3-2 loss really disappointing I don't think I'm going to overanalyze the performance today I think we were really bad in the first half I think we gave away stupid goals we didn't keep the ball well enough didn't pass it short and sharp enough and so Arsenal made us pay and in that second half going more at them changing the style of play up a little bit brought us back into the game almost almost got us a point but not quite on this occasion 
So here we are in the league table again. We find ourselves still in fifth place. Obviously, uh, there's now a bit of a gap to Arsenal ahead of us. They've still got two games in hand, which is unfortunate. We've still got a four-point gap on Sheffield United, though, which is OK. And we still have to play them again, remember. And we've got a bit more of a gap now, uh, a six-point gap to Aston Villa, which is good. It means that this kind of area is roughly where we're going to finish. But which one of these three? What are you going to put your money on, considering the run-in that we've got? and we've still got some really hard games to play. What are you thinking? Fifth, sixth, seventh, outside the top seven? A very slim fourth chance, maybe? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But let's um, yeah, let's move on from this particular game where it didn't quite work out for us today and figure out what's coming next. So here we are back in the schedule page. Uh, we've got a couple of episodes still to do. Uh, so we've got Liverpool coming up next episode. You remember early in the season right here. This is where it is. They beat us 5-0 away from home. Can we find a way to get anything from them as we uh, close in on the end of the Premier League at home? That's going to be the challenge, isn't it? Between then and now, we've got uh, Manchester United away from home. That's always going to be difficult. Uh, Man United and Liverpool, I think it is, who are challenging for the title. It is indeed. But it looks like it's gone to Liverpool. They're five points clear. United with a game in hand though so they're going to have their tails up aren't they both Liverpool and United so we've got United away from home then we've got that must win game we absolutely have to get the points against Newcastle and probably Sheffield United as well just to cement that top sort of four uh, top sort of five sixth place kind of finish but that's what's coming up so Liverpool next episode the last episode after that will be Man City and we'll be able to finally set our stall out for Bielsa show him what we were capable of and then ask to see if he can do it any better because that's after all the point of the beta battle so we'll have to wait and see how he does but yeah until next time thank you for joining me today it was a disappointing performance in the end really that first half absolutely decimated us didn't it second half much better but not quite enough Anyway, till next episode, thank you for joining me today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join my United City community, the more the merrier. Click that like button on this episode. Whether we got a good win or not, hopefully you're enjoying the series. If you are and you're liking these episodes, please click that like button. It helps the channel out so much and it makes me know that people are connected what I'm, to what I'm putting out. So it's really important. Uh, click all, uh, Check all the links in the description below to all of my uh, Twitter account and my Discord, etc. Let me know what you think about what's going on in there and join the fun come and join us uh, until next time though take care of yourselves i'll see you very soon bye for now